Hello, I am Saida Rahimi. I am an artist, a painter, and I live in, here in Solana Beach. And uh, today I would like to talk to you about a painting that I did and uh, tell you about the story that is behind this painting. 1979, the year of Iran's revolution. The Islamic regime was established. People were excited and expected freedom and democracy. I live in Iran at the time and witnessed history passing by. The Islamic leaders removed the mask of democracy from their faces. They announced a mandatory dress code for women called hijab, which means a woman must cover her hair, hide her beauty and body, so male would not lose the control of their mind. I was sitting in my family room, speechless, listening and watching the shocking news. At work, I witnessed a disaster, a comedy drama. We laughed at each other because we looked ridiculous with that veil. But at the same time, it was very sad because we had to swallow the pain of uh, frustration and humiliation. I became a professional artist and decided to express my feeling through my art. This painting is about all but how I felt on those days. You see the background is the st structure of Islamic mosque. The mosque is representing the Islamic beliefs. Her hair is waving away without the will, expressing her desire to have the right to choose she is longing for. Her facial expression is telling us about her anger, frustration, humiliation, and injustice. The orange colors symbolize the, her passionate character, the yellow color representing her feminist character, light and hope. In previous decades, women achieved tremendous victories. They won rights to vote, expanded divorce, custody right, and were allowed to stand for public office. In the last 31 years, some courageous women have fought for women's rights in Iran. Fortunately, since the power of internet, the world is now listening and watching. As women, what we expect is freedom of choice. In our new modern society, the laws that are from the ancient time are not acceptable. You may ask what we can do. Please follow the news and support the Amnesty International or similar organization. Thank you.